William Russell was born on March 6, 1758, in Culpeper County, Virginia, to William and Tabitha Adams Russell. Russell's father accompanied Daniel Boone into Powell's Valley, where they encountered Shawnee. William's brother, Henry, was killed. Little is known about Russell's youth. He served in the American Revolution and was an aide to Colonel William Campbell. He fought in many battles, including Kings Mountain, where Isaac Shelby led the fight. Russell moved to Kentucky in 1783 and settled in Fayette County. He married Nancy Price on December 25, 1786, and they had six children together. He continued his military career and fought in many battles in the Northwest Territory. He was first a member of the Virginia Legislature and took part in the vote that allowed Kentucky to separate from Virginia in 1792. He then went to serve in Kentucky's General Assembly. He served off and on for many years, 1792, 1796 to 1800, 1802 to 1807, and 1825. He was promoted to colonel by President James Madison. When the War of 1812 began, Russell joined the fighting. He fought in the Battle of Tippecanoe. Russell became the Supreme Commander of the Army of the Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri Frontiers. He won victories against the Kickapoo and the Pirui. After the war, Russell returned to Lexington and farmed. He made one more attempt at political office. He ran for governor and lost in a landslide victory to Joseph Deshay. He died on July 3rd, 1825. Hope you've enjoyed learning about William Russell. His family has ties to the early exploration of Kentucky. After moving to Kentucky, Russell made an impact through his military positions. Russell County, the 81st county of Kentucky, is named after William Russell. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky History content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.